at all. Focus on one thing that you can easily focus on. And when you take a deep breath in, with your exhalation two times longer than your inhalation. Very good. And then another deep breath in, and your exhalation two times longer than your inhalation. I want you to take another deep breath in and hold it. When you exhale, I want you to close your eyes slowly, still thinking about that one spot. Go for it right now. Now you have your eyes closed and your whole body is relaxing. You're just going to let every muscle, every fiber of your body relax. Everything in your whole entire body, you're going to let it relax completely. Everything is just going to be completely relaxed by itself. Every muscle, every fiber, every nerve, every molecule in your body, you just give it time to relax. Very good. Now I want you to take another deep breath in. And your exhalation, you relieve all the stress you have ever felt in your life. All the stress every day is just being relieved and you just feel nice and cleansed. You just feel that CO2 being taken out of your body and it's just refreshing. I want you to take another deep breath in and then hold it this time. When you exhale, you can open your eyes, and I still I want you to look at the same spot you were looking at before. Go ahead and do that now. Very good. And I still want you to focus on that one spot. You're going to start to see your peripheral vision is going to start to go in. You're going to start to have tunnel vision. My voice is going to be the only thing you can start to hear. All other sounds are going to be muffled. My voice is going to be the only thing you can focus on. I want you to take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Now in a second I'm going to say sleep. When I say sleep you're going to Close your eyes, and you're going to let your whole body relax. Your eyes are going to close, your head is going to fall to your side, and you're going to let every muscle, every fiber of your body relax. So what I want you to do, take a deep breath in, hold it, and release it. I'm just feeling more and more relaxed, still focusing on that one spot. I want you to understand everything I say is true. You will go under hypnosis when I say sleep. So take a deep breath in. Hold it. And sleep. Let that breath out and let your eyes close. Let your heavy head fall to your side. feels like a meditative state, but furthermore, now I just, it's really important for you now to focus on what I'm saying. They do not want you to think too much. That is why our country and our world has become so proliferated with entertainments, mass media, game shows, television shows, 
down your hands. Amusement parks, your drugs, alcohol, and every kind of entertainment to keep the human mind entertained so that you don't get in the way of important people by doing too much thinking. You had better wake up and understand that there are people who are guiding your life and you don't even know it. And all American citizens, I think, have suspected something like this is going on. But we're all too busy trying to stay alive and live our lives. And after all, what can one person do about it? One person can do nothing, but a nation educated can do much. Why does Hollywood make motion pictures like Death Wish and Dirty Harry, always showing how regular citizens are misused and abused and tricked and deceived by their government, and then one lone guy has to stand up for what's right because the whole system is corrupt? Why do you think they make movies like that? Is there a message in that? I'll tell you why. It's very simple. First of all, these conspirators, these people, make the movies showing you what the problem is. Then they make the movies to show you what the solution is. They know that you are frustrated. They know that the people of America are frustrated because there is no law and order. But that's purposely designed. We're not supposed to have law and order yet. We're supposed to have crime and the immorality and the drugs and the murder and all the other things that we are besieged by. We're supposed to have that. If the government did not want it, it would not be here. Believe me, this is the most powerful government the world has ever known. They have a they had the ability to get a hold on Adolf Hitler 50 years ago. He had a standing army, the greatest navy, air force, military, secret underworld organizations operating throughout the world. But this government got a hold on Adolf Hitler because it chose to and it wanted to. And if you do not pay your income taxes, they will find you if you go to the Amazon jungle and they will make an example of you, they will find you and they will deal with you and you know it. But for some reason they're unable to get a handle on drugs and the crime in the streets for some reason. There is a reason. And that's what we want to talk about. There is a method to the madness. You might not